He's best known for his days on Family Ties, starring alongside Michael J. Fox. But now, Mark Price can be seen taking the stage in his own comedy act. And he's also been working behind the scenes, writing and producing for E, TBS, Disney Channel, Animal Planet, Showtime, and more. And he's joining us right here on the Morning Blend. Good morning. Well, I want to thank you both for spinning your chairs around. <laughs> right? Thank you. For me. We swiveled over. <laughs> we hit such a treat. <laughs> that was such a treat. Wasn't right? she amazing? Yes, Sheena's indeed. voice is just incredible. We love her. Uh, we also love that you're here today. So thanks for taking time to chat with us. Thank you. Spending some time here with us in uh, Southwest Florida. And we were watching video there of uh, your days on Family Ties uh, alongside Michael J. Fox. What was that like? Oh, man, what a thrill that was. I was such a little kid when I started on the show right there. <laughs> uh, I think there? I'm maybe yep. 16 years old or something. <laughs> Uh, and I got to work with uh, Michael J. Fox. Okay. I didn't go to real school. Do I'll be honest. I didn't pay attention on the set <laughs> with the tutor and all that. Do you still have those glasses? But I had a, a tremendous mentor. Uh, no, but now I actually need glasses. <laughs> That's the difference. That was acting. Now I'm getting old. Sometimes you grow into these things. Yeah. It's like Hugh Hefner, right? He wore a robe right. and pajamas. Right. Now he's uh, no. 112 years old. It makes sense he wears a robe and pajamas all day. <laughs> Sometimes you grow into these things. Exactly, just like style, it all comes back That's around. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we were chatting during the break, you know, a, a, a week or so ago. We were talking about James Vanderbeek in the news, and everybody talks about how he's always just always going to be known for Dawson's Creek. And some interview went viral because it got a little uncomfortable because he was tired of hearing it. I was curious. Do you get tired of, of being tied to the family ties? I've does, does grown it get to old? coke. Good I've fun. grown to coke. <laughs> That's always been my thing. You know, my girlfriend calls me Skippy. My sisters call me Skippy. <laughs> Um, it's uh, it's what people know me for until I get right. known for something bigger. Right. See, I <laughs> like that. I like that attitude because if you were known for something that was so fun and so great, why not just own it? Right. And just, but James yeah. Vanderbeek, we just heard, has a new series uh, that they say yes. is pretty funny. Yeah. It and was... so you know, you never know. I might find a new series too. There's a new reality show about my sex life. Really? It's called <laughs> Naked and Afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, there's more where that uh, co comedic relief comes from because you're actually doing comedy now, which I hear is what you really always wanted Co to do. Comic relief. I was on the first comic relief back in the 80s, <laughs> if you remember that, on HBO. Really? And a lot of people don't know I was doing comedy before Family Ties. Now, how is that possible? I was such a little kid. <laughs> I was a little kid comedian. I was like, you know, it's appropriate when she sings a song like that. She's grown up. But, you know, whenever you see little kids perform yeah. and you want to smack them because they're too adult, <laughs> too young, you know what I mean? Six years yeah. old, singing memories <laughs> right. of what? When you were five? <laughs> He's like Bobby from King of the Hill. <laughs> so I was one of those kids. I was a little kid comedian. I come out. I was 13 years old, and I say, "Divorce is rough." <laughs> anyway, but you're also doing a lot behind the scenes, which I think is really great. You're working on some big shows. Mm -hmm. So explain kind of what you're doing. Well, I guess uh, I kind of shifted a little bit from being in front of the cameras to behind the cameras for a while. I'm kind of back in front of. Uh, on stage again, mm -hmm, right. but I did uh, executive produce and develop some shows that were on E! and Game Show Network mm -hmm. and TBS and stuff like that. I love working with comedians. That's what do you, great. You're putting a lot like of better. Funny. Sorry. <laughs> Behind the scenes or Behind in front the of the scenes? Behind the scenes or in front, yeah. I don't know. They both offer different, uh, different wonderful aspects, I guess. Uh, working on Family Ties, the producers were wonderful. The writers were, the cast was wonderful. Yeah. Everybody was great. Right. So, but it, it, that's what got me into it, though. I watched the writers, I watched the producers, and it inspired me to kind yeah. of make stuff happen. And so that's why I like being a part of projects from inception to on air. Yeah. Well, we want to learn more about you. I've got a couple we had new ones I'm working all day to chat here, but you're performing for us. So we want to make sure everybody knows when and where. This is at the Laugh-In Comedy Cafe. So when, when can they get tickets to the performance? They can call right now. They can come any day this week. I'm even going to be there Wednesday for a special comedy contest, but then Thursday through Saturday are the official dates of the tour. And if you want to get enjoy. reservations or tickets, you can see that number on your screen, Laugh-In Comedy Cafe. Be sure to call and get those tickets before they sell out. Uh, I guarantee it's going to be a good show. Lori Brownstein, the... Uh, She's the housewife yeah. comic, I think. Is that single? Yes, yeah. She's single or married? <laughs> I'm, I, I have a girlfriend now, by the way. I get it. Yay, I found, I found my Mallory. Woo! It took, me, it took me so long, but I, I, I've got my forever love. That's the big difference between the last time I was in town well, and now. I'm happy. Congratulations. I'm a happy Do you man. talk about that in your show? It's got to be 20 minutes of new material. Yeah. She has a 10 year old. <laughs> She's going to be the subject of a lot of shows. That's funny. I can't do all the jokes about how I don't, I don't have enough girlfriends anymore. <laughs> so great to have you on. Good luck with the performance. Thank I know you. you're going to rock it. Thanks so much, Mark.